I like Hayachi. Hi. So my hair is dirty. It is disgusting. It's dry. It's real dry. It got cold real quickly. I was complaining about how hot it was and now I got what I wanted. Why am I, why am I so low? So today I figured what better to, this lipstick is ugly. So I figured what better time to do a video that I've been trying to do for a hot minute. Like I've just had these products just in my bin of products to get around to and that is chewing my hair with nothing but Korean product. <laughs> I'm concerned. I remember when I tried to use Korean products in my hair before when I was in Korea, but that didn't really work. But then again, me and Korean weather in my hair just doesn't work entirely. So I'm curious, would it work now that I'm in the States? But these are also different products. Basically, I'm doing my hair with Korean products. I, this is probably a horrible idea, but regardless, my hair is gonna be in a wig tomorrow anyway. But I think it'll be fun. A little science experiment, a little, little for science, a little for knowledge. Will it be more defined? Will it be more frizzy? Will it be more dry? Ow! <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I like Hayachi. Reminds me of when The Weeknd was on hard drugs and he still made music that made me feel bad about myself. I miss it. So here's what we're... <laughs> Here's what we're working with. It's gonna look cute when it's done, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, we are tangled. Okay, today's gonna be like a deep care day, deep conditioning, protein treatment, leave-in conditioner type of day, and I'm just gonna see if it works any better with Korean products, or any worse for that matter. This is a product that I wanted to try out as a protein treatment. This is the Super Protein Repairing Treatment from Apute. Um, seven kinds of protein, Vita Complex Vegetable Oil Ingredients. Generally speaking for protein treatments, it's not a good idea to keep them on for longer than say 20 minutes. This on the back says, ah, hi, I'm pumping. Okay, this says to use it after shampooing, but I'm not gonna do that. So two or three minutes, I'm gonna keep it in for like 10. Just because I'm using the products doesn't mean I have to use them the way they say. But then again, that also means I can't judge them if they're really bad. We'll just see how this is an experiment. We're not gonna judge it. My hair is thick and long as hell at this point, so I'm gonna section her up. That was like a fourth of the jar. I'm gonna go through. Okay, this feels nice. It smells nice. What in the world? And protein treatments are generally used to, you know, strengthen the hair, make it more pliable. Well, make it stronger, <laughs> less prone to breakage. Generally speaking, I do protein treatments on dry hair. This is not recommended in the instructions for this product, but, um,. <laughs> I'm a rebel, so. I also have hella shed hair in here, so I'm gonna be like gently going through my hair to get that out. My hair just kind of absorbed that, and it feels really soft. Wow, it feels really soft. My hair is matte tangled right now, but kind of how my hair texture works, I'm not good at like knowing what my curl pattern is and all that, but I know that for me, I cannot detangle my hair dry. Yo, wouldn't that be crazy if these end up being like the new products that I really dig? Like that would be really crazy because I have very low hopes for this. I, I have no expectations, so. This feels really good. Not like a protein treatment though. It feels very moisturizing. Oh, like even, okay, so feeling the difference between the two, like this feels super pliable. I always laugh at hair products when they're like, use a pea amount, a dime size. Yeah, it's like making my hair really easy to detangle. That's so interesting. It must have a really high water content. I feel like though this would never replace an actual protein treatment because it just doesn't, it doesn't feel strong enough. One thing though, I can tell I'm probably gonna use this entire bottle just this one time. <laughs> and not because I'm just wasteful, I feel like it's necessary. Kind of surprised. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like really stiff, um, but it actually went through my hair really well. And it definitely feels very moisturizing, more so than like a protein treatment. So I'm just gonna go in and just feel on my scalp a little bit because we're preparing for shampoo time, bub. So I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. Our next product is this bad boy. This is a Pyongyang Yur shampoo. Pyongyang Yur, as far as I know, isn't particularly known for their hair products. I think of the brand as more of a skincare brand, but they have shampoo. I wanted this because it comes with a pump. So here's how we're... 
So, I want to like show you guys also how I shampoo because I actually shampoo my hair dry as well and then wash everything out. It's like a clear shampoo and I'm just gonna go into my hair. It's still dry. It still has the other product in it though. And go right where my hair gets product build up. So that's in the edgical areas. In the back where it kind of rubs against my pillow. And then just overall the scalp. The reason I do this while my hair is dry sometimes is because I don't want it I want everything to be as concentrated as it would be anyway. Giving myself some pamper time, some TLC, some love. So there you have it. I'm gonna let that sit in my hair for like five minutes, gonna go wash it out, and then we can try out the next product and see how that all goes. I am a little concerned about the mixture of products. <laughs> We're just gonna do this for entertainment. If Maybe we'll find out if the products separately work really well. Got my little breakage hairs there. They pop in. <laughs> When I tell y'all my hair feels so good right now. <laughs> this right here, my dude. This right here, my dude. The shampoo was meh. It didn't really lather up much. Um, it's, I wouldn't go out of my way to get that, but yo. After I've washed it out, my hair does feel strong. At first I was like, eh, this is like it feels like a moisturizing thing. I don't understand how it's so like powerful about it. But now that it's out, my hair does feel like strong but it doesn't feel dry i do feel like the shampoo was nice and clarifying it feels clean ish i feel like there's still like gel up here like i feel like it's it was clarifying but it didn't do crazy good job maybe i missed a spot right here but it's just shampoo so next let's go in with the next product a deep moisturizing conditioner from nature republic this is a hair pack Argan Essential Deep Care Hair Pack. It sounded like something that would be moisturizing and it looked like it came in a large volume. It's not that much. <laughs> but it comes in a tub and I tend to appreciate moisturizing products that come in a tub because I'm quite the scooper. It's like a honey mask. All right, we're gonna just go in. It is it's spreading pretty well. Well, it does look shiny. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm judging it too early. You know, it is a deep conditioner. Give it some time. Handful. I'm using quite a lot of all these products, but this isn't new. I use like half of everything every time I do it. That's another reason I don't do my hair very often. Okay, there it is. I have hope. My hair feels pretty freaking good. I'm gonna do like a little. I am going to put on a plastic bag and then a shower cap that has the little fuzzy stuff in it to conduct that heat usually when I deep condition my hair I try to do it for several hours if not overnight because I fall asleep with the thing in my head but it's already 11 p.m. maybe I should do overnight should I do overnight let's do overnight a lot of Korean brands actually make deep conditioners that are meant to be worn overnight. This is not one of them. I actually have one, I think. Maybe if we do a part two, maybe if we do a second one, we'll see how this video goes and then we'll see. So this says to keep it on for five to 10 minutes. I'm keeping it on overnight. It also says use an adequate amount. I use half the jar. I'll see you guys tomorrow though, and we'll see how this all goes. Wash my hair out. It'll be fun. Okay, so it's the next day. I just rinsed my hair out. When I took my hair out of my shower cap and the caps and all that blah, blah blah blah. It was so soft. It was super soft and I was hoping it would stay as soft in the shower. Yo, I kinda like it. But it's not as deeply moisturizing as like natural hair products that I've used in the past. But I actually, I actually like it. It looks very bouncy. It looks very moisturized. Okay, I do want to put one more thing in my hair just because I want to try it out. So far, I'm not mad at that. Am I going to go out of my way to get it again? Probably not. I don't feel like I need to wait, you know, the two weeks for Korean products to get to my house for me to get this effect. But it was still cute trying it. So the last thing I have here is from Secret Key. This is the all new premium so fast hair booster treatment. This is not a leave-in, 
but am I gonna use it as a leave-in? Absolutely. I just feel like this is a product that I should be able to use as leave-in simply because I don't see anything about it being a protein treatment, so. Oh, it's quite thin, so this might be a good idea. Okay. Mmm. Was this a good idea? I don't know if that was a good idea, but whatever, we're, we're here now. Maybe one day I'll try it as an actual treatment. It didn't feel more moisturized by doing that. It's just kind of like stuff in my hair now, so. So this is how my curls are looking. They kind of pop in. I don't have any gel or anything in it, so nothing in it to define it. None of these products claim to be like a holding product. I'm so irritated because I've just realized I was not recording, but I was like trying to try out the Dr. Dr. Top Silk Pro blah 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 fiber or whatever in my hair. This was a product that I found when I was at KCON and I was like, oh, I should like try it because I've never tried it in my hair. I tried it in hair extensions. I was like, oh, it's kind of nice in hair extensions, but it's not gonna do anything in my hair. Like I was pretty sure of that. Yo, it like clumped my hair together. Which is good. If you have curly hair, you don't want all your curls to be separate from each other. Then that's how you get a frizzy, gross mess. It made my curls like stick together. Again, the same issue I've had with everything is that um, I have to use so much of it. <laughs> I have to use so much of it. But do you see that? Yo, I kind of mess with it. I kind of do. Just a little bit, a little tease. Oh, okay, wait. Granted, I've used this entire thing. Ooh. I don't know if this is a sample size and it made my curls stick together. She thought it was the ocean and it's just a pool. She said, where are we going? And I said, the moon. My hair looks so good, oh my God. I was expecting this to go horribly, 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 horribly wrong. I expected my hair to be dry. This right here is the plug. Okay, I'm gonna wait till my hair dries to know for sure. It's like half dry right now, but baby. It's shrinking up though. I'll see y'all in a few hours when my hair is completely dry. Stiff war, bruh. Stiff war. Stiff war. Here's several hours have passed and this is where we're looking at. My hair is super shrunken. I don't think it's more shrunken than any other products that I've used, but it's like tight. But what did we learn today? I learned that Korean hair care products aren't as bad as I was expecting them. I, I expected this to be horrible. I was expecting my hair to be super duper dry and super brittle uh, and super stiff. I, I don't know what I expected. I expected it to just not look very good. But like other than the extreme shrinkage, <laughs> like my hair shrinks pretty bad anyway, but this is, this is really up there. It's not that different from US products that I use. Do I feel like I'm gonna go out of my way to like get Korean hair care products? Um, probably not. I did really enjoy the super protein thing, so maybe I'll go out of my way for this thing just because it was very softening. It was really nice. Um, and I also liked this thing, the silk fiber, fiber, fibrin, green hair, premium hair care. Mm -hmm. My hair is super soft and fluffy though. I feel like a poodle. Like a really well taken care of, well groomed poodle, um, which is always good. My hair is more defined than I thought it would be. I thought it would be super duper frizzy. It is pretty frizzy, but that's just my hair by nature is quite frizzy. But we do have some form of definition, which is not what I expected. I expected uh, it to be just a giant ball of confusion. So if you found this video at all interesting or informative, be sure to put that down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on both of my social media, which is Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD, and I'll see you guys next time.